My name is Melville Poupeau. I come from Paris, France. I'm an actor and I play in a, a Canadian movie, French Canadian movie called Laurence Anyways, directed by the young Xavier Dolan. It's his third feature. And I play the character of Laurence, who is a man who believes that he should have been a woman. And he decides at one point in his life to, um, to tell his secret to his girlfriend, played by Suzanne Clément. And he thinks oh, their couple is strong enough to handle such a situation. And that's the start of the movie. So it's not about transgender, it's not a transgender movie, it's more a love story. And it's about the struggle of that couple to just make, make it happen. Xavier is a phenomenon. He's, he was 21 when we first started the movie. He, he's a good actor, he loves actors. That's the main thing he likes about making movies, is playing with the actor. And uh, it was amazing because even though he's that young, he's already like a master. And not only with the actors, but with the mise en scène. And uh, he had very clear ideas of the movie he wanted to make. All the movie is about this love story, this couple, so it, we had to make it work. Even though I had very few few days to get prepared because I came in very late. Another actor was supposed to play my part, Laurence. I was to do a small part first, but then something happened with this other actor. So they flew me to Montreal and I had some fittings right away. I had to meet Suzanne and we had to make it work like this. Even though I arrived two weeks before the beginning of the shoot, that was kind of helpful because I didn't have too much time to stress out and just to, to ask myself too much question. I was just drawn into it and got shaven and got dressed up as a woman very quickly and that was it. Costume-wise, he's been uh, collecting stuff since three years. So he knew already when I arrived that I had to wear this outfit for that sequence, then uh, this high heel shoes for this other one sequence. So it, he even designed some of the outfit himself. At one point I wear a, a special costume that he designed. He chose the, 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 the tissue, the colors and everything. And um, then the makeup artist Colin was very helpful because she's been working on the project for a while. And she did some research because when you go through that long process of sex change, you have different period. First you take some hormones, so that changes your your, your beard disappear, your hair got go grew, but in a weird way, and then it's your body opens up. So I had fake ass at one point, <laughs> wigs, different wigs, because the, the the story takes place in ten years time. So I had to go all through that changes, those changes, and the makeup artist was very very precise and helpful. We had a hard time hiding the beard. That was the most uh, annoying thing was to hide that beard. So yeah, it was maybe two or three hours of makeup every day, long days of shoot, very intense shooting, but it was such incredible experience. I have um, another movie that is coming out in France in November, which was supposed to be directed by a friend of mine called Raoul Ruiz, with whom I've been working since I'm a child. But unfortunately he died last summer, so he couldn't make that film, but his wife, Valeria Samento took over that project. It's an epic uh, period piece about the Napoleonian War, in which I play a general. So I, I went from Montreal playing this uh, transvestite to the French general uh, Masséna. And then my next project is uh, with a French director who made a movie called Zidane, maybe five years ago. His name is Philippe Pareno, and it's an adaptation of Frankenstein and I would play the doctor. Yes, another kind of mutation and transformation uh, story.